of his method uh, volitionary liquidation of deep breathing. That's what we uh, uh, gave uh, the patients. That's how we call this method. The name Buteka method uh, appeared uh, much later in, in Australia. Professor Buteka wanted to call his method as he called it years and years before. It's volitional liquidation of deep breathing. And I wanted to call it Buteka method, Buteka method. And he didn't want to. So we had a big argument actually. And I uh, persuaded him actually uh, at this volitional liquidation of deep breathing. It, it, it sounds like too complicated for Western people. I said, look, well, we need to call it the Buteka method. I said, what's wrong with that? You know, that, that's your method anyway. That's Buteka, yeah, Buteka method. And eventually he uh, said, ah, okay, I agree. <laughs> okay, so be it, he said. So that uh, the name, the name of the method known currently as the Buteka method um, appeared in 1991 uh, or two, something like that. Actually, the Buteka method is not is not a method, strictly speaking. Um, it's not an instruction, definitely. It's a it's a wrong word, actually, to call it method. It's rather an approach, an idea. Um, how to say it? Better to say maybe an approach to to treat the major disease or or only disease which uh, we treat, which is called hyperventilation. Well, I would say that he did not have a structured workshops. He would explain his um, idea or approach rather than uh, to give this, uh, you know, step one, step two, and so on, so on. Because, um, you see, he, he took people in his flat. Some people stayed there, not in his flat, of course, but came on the third day, fourth day. Some people just arrived. and. Uh, he would explain again and again his idea, his approach. He would show again and again how to check control pose, explain what it is. Uh, we will teach them maximum pose, general breathing, um, explain things about this uh, medical hypocrisy, uh, talks, in general, in general, it's like a more theoretical than practical workshop. Well, actually, the term method is not correct. Actually, is uh, well, there is no method as such as we we want to see it, like step one, step two or instructions, what, what to do on day number one, day number two. It's rather understanding, understanding the discovery. And of course, after you are understood the, the discovery, he gives you, Professor Buteyka, I mean, he gives you his technique, one of possible techniques to deal with hyperventilation to raise level of carbon dioxide up to normal or more or less normal. Actually, what, what he said many times, it's not once, not twice, if he had 5% of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere or in this room, we wouldn't need his method at all. We could breathe as, as we like, as much as we like. And in the beginning, he tried to, to find some even medical means to, uh, to normalize level of carbon dioxide. 